Sentry mode activated. Target acquired. Hey guys, welcome back to the Gunner's Guild. So since I'm not doing any more runs for Monster Hunter World, I can spend my time doing other nonsense, like math. So on today's agenda, if you couldn't already guess from the thumbnail or the title, it's bow DPS cycles. I always get asked what bow cycle is the best for DPS, and it's kind of difficult to answer because it depends. Uh, I wanted to do this video because Iceborne's coming out and the bow motion values are going to get changed. Well, nerf really. So I wanted to see what the damage looks like on paper now with the different cycles so I can get a better idea of how the motion value changes are going to affect the Iceborne DPS cycles. And for anyone who's wanting to try bow and Iceborne, here's kind of how the cycles go. Alright, so for the most part, here are the DPS rotations you can do with bow, assuming you have the mighty bow decoration, because you should, and if you don't, well, go get it. It's basically required for bow. The bow cycles are rapid, 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 rapid into power, quick shot, rapid, 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 power, quick shot, rapid power, rapid power, and dash dancing. You can also do some incomplete cycles like four rapids or quick shot into three rapids. Uh, those last two you don't really ever want to do, but you can. The way I ended up testing the cycles was pretty obvious, but I did three cycles of each rotation trying to be as fast as I could, even using macros to do some of it because I wanted to be as tight as possible. We did three cycles because that's the most you're ever going to get in on a single monster if you do a combo, topple it, and then two more complete combos. Also because of the delays and power shot ending a combo, I needed to start up another to get an accurate time frame of how much time that actual power shot wastes. Then I did this with a pure raw bow, and an elemental bow, and then a full meta set with the 100% crit, crit boost 3, all that good stuff. It's all in the training pool of course, which does favor raw, but that doesn't really matter. Finally, I calculated the damage per cycle, the time it takes to do 3 cycles, from starting frame all the way to when you're able to act again, because the delay matters. Then it's obvious, just add and divide and do whatever and you get your average DPS. It's important to mention here that the actual DPS does not matter at all, because I used two bows with no skills and then a full meta set. All that really matters is what the cycles ended up doing in their own bracket. So let's get right into the numbers. With the four rapid cycle, which takes about 10 seconds to perform three bursts of, starting with the pure raw bow, four rapids clock in about a 44.7 damage per second in a three burst cycle. On an elemental bow, it gets 62.1 DPS, and with the full meta set, we get 126.26 DPS. Quick shot into three rapids takes it a little bit longer to do at 10.8 seconds for three cycles. The quick shot is a little bit longer to start up compared to the four rapids. So with raw bow, we're able to get 46.75 DPS, an elemental bow is 70.1, and the full meta set is 130.51 DPS. So you can see that the quick shot is still a great way to start engagement as rapid ones are pretty much useless. The other thing to note here is that quick shot lets you regen stamina while you're using it, so it's much, much more efficient to start with this. Obviously you don't really want to do either of these rotations, but it's a good starting point. Alright, the real rotations. Four rapids into a power shot, three cycles, sits at 14.4 seconds to do. Raw bow is at 55 DPS, elemental at 77.7 .7, and the meta sets at 156.87. By this point you may be wondering why I'm bothering with the raw bow and the elemental bow. Well it's because I want to make sure that the damage is consistent across all bows you know in any situation. Alright quick shot into three rapids and power shot to finish. Three cycles is 13.6 seconds to completion. Now my first question here is why is this faster than four rapids into power? Now this is a faster rotation because on the previous ones was an incomplete combo and ending with rapid still had an extra space to use power shot or arc shot so you had to hold on to the delay slightly longer which made that combo actually not very good at all. So that's that. Anyway let's keep going. Robo is 61.9 DPS, elemental is 87.8 and the full meta is 175.5. Now our bread and butter cycle, quick shot, rapid power, rapid power, was clocking in at 15.98 seconds for 3 cycles. Might as well be 16 seconds, but I wanted to keep it as low as possible. Raw bow is 61.2 DPS, elemental is 85.4, and full meta is 172.2. So, at first glance, this is lower, slightly, than doing quick shot, 3 rapids, and power. And to be honest, I'm not surprised. It's more time efficient because two power shots in the combo is a lot of end lag. I'm surprised it wasn't more impactful. 
But before you go into thinking that, okay, well, clearly quick shot three rapids and power is what we're going to be using all the time. Again, it's more complicated than that. Power in the middle of a combo is more burst damage and it's great for timing those staggers. Now on a down monster where that doesn't really matter, you may be thinking, okay, so we just, we'll do this instead. We'll do quick shot three rapids of power. Again, no, not quite. Because the obvious best DPS is dash dancing, which I tested out on level four rapid into power on a full charge. Three cycles was 7.28 seconds and got to 204 DPS on a full meta set. This obviously comes with the caveat that it eats way too much stamina and it's not maintainable. So those are the cycles. Quick shot into three rapid and then power is the best DPS on paper. And it also has the added benefit of being much more stamina efficient since it doesn't have the additional power shot in there. Now I'm not saying you shouldn't use the other rotation because as I said, it's more bursty and that helps it staggers a lot. I just want to show you that there are effective options and that if you need to save stamina, you can do the other rotation. You need to be actively thinking about your stamina management with Bow, so there's no one definite answer. This is why it's hard to tell people what to do because it's all subjective to the conditions, like maybe you know that the middle power shot will stagger Teosho or Kirin, so you do it and then follow up with a rapid into another power and cause a second stagger which gets you the topple. Or maybe the monster moved just too far away and you don't have a good shot on the middle power shot, so you just use rapids instead. It's all conditional. So here's the data, do with it as you will. Also, one last thing. As we know, Iceborne changed around some values. Mostly the elemental motion value got reduced pretty hard on bow. Now, I expect the crit element multiplier to be lowered as well. So, with that being said, I'm probably going to have to redo the tests and see what's up with Iceborne because I think raw bow will probably be on the same playing field as elemental, even with the uncapped element for bows. So, we'll just have to wait and see, but I'm pretty excited to see what happens. Uh, Bow will be just fine even with their nerfs, so don't worry about that. It's always fun and active anyway, so it doesn't have to be the best weapon in the game. So I'm not worried. But that's all for this video, so uh, thanks for watching and good luck out there and whatever you may be hunting.